Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining with me today. So today we're going to learn how to create a Python code that will open Google and then open YouTube and scroll down and keep taking screenshot without any supervision. So um, we're going to use PyCharm, the ID PyCharm for Python. So if you haven't used it, you should definitely check out if your code in Python. It's really uh, convenient and easy. So let's uh, let's first see what we're going to do, what we're trying to accomplish here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the code and let you see what. So it opens Google, then selects a user, then types YouTube, and then the YouTube is open and it's going to scroll down every three seconds. It's going to scroll down once, take a screenshot, and then scroll down once and take a screenshot. So it's going to do that for now. I have set it to uh, 10 times, so it's going to do 10 times. So you got the idea. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and import the libraries that we need. So the most important library that we need is PyAutoGUI and then time. Um, for giving the time for the uh, website to load. So now we're going to go ahead and create a function which does not take a calendar. So first thing we want to do is we want to um, click on the Google icon that we have in our um, taskbar. So let's say pi we dot click and we need to figure out the coordinates of the pixels that are there which if we click uh, we need to figure out the coordinates so that our cursor can go there and click so this um, one way to find out the coordinates is same position so which will print out the position so uh, let's go ahead and print out. So this will print out So now we have to call the function Test one so now if we run so we put the cursor there and to run the function we can use I press at the same time Control shift f10 which will run the code and here we can see that we have the coordinates that's 479 and 20 for 479 and 20 so 479 comma so we're going to use this same method for whenever we need to find out um a coordinate we're just gonna use it it as a comment so that we can use it whenever we can so now it clicks on um, the Google icon so now we have to give it a time so that it can load so let's say time sleep in seconds let's say give it two seconds no uh, I think three seconds my computer is slow then next thing we, we want to do is when it opens Google. So for me, I have to choose a user. I have multiple users, so I have to choose a user. So we're going to again, again, have to click here in this, like whichever user we want, and we have to find out the coordinates. So we're going to go ahead and write the code for that. Click. And we're going to find the coordinates the way we did previously. So I'm just going to skip that part and go ahead and write the coordinates that I already have. So here we go. So the coordinates for, um, coordinate for the user that I want to use is 1073 and 659 for the pixel and then after that we click there we will again give it time to load so let's say two seconds again uh, I will say two seconds it's fine so next what we want to do we want to type so for typing so we're gonna again call high auto GUI function and then Time. T 
type type right and we're gonna write whatever website we're gonna search for we're just gonna search uh, copy the link like type the link for that and you'll type it there and now we have to press enter so hi I'll go in dot press and to press enter you just have to write it and to the, the key enter we just have to press enter key so now um, let's try and run this and see what happens Control shift f10 so it opens the Google clicks the user that I want to use then it types YouTube and here we are in the YouTube so now what we want to we we're going we're gonna do is we're gonna use a while loop to create um, a code that will take screenshot every time so it's gonna scroll down a little bit and then take a screenshot it's gonna scroll down again and take a screenshot until a certain condition is met so let's while uh, before uh, okay we need to create a variable so that the uh, condition can be met so let's say x equals to zero so it starts at zero so x less than say six so that is five times so when x less than six we want to do is we want to click um no we need to give sorry about that so we like once we press enter um uh, the, our computer works really fast when we uh, when we use coding it goes really fast so we need to give it a time again so that the youtube can be like youtube can have time to load so i'm going to give it three seconds to load and then so that it, it's going to go to the while loop so now we want to click on the top left corner where if we click it's going to scroll down so use i auto dot click so we need the coordinates so i'm again just gonna go ahead and use the same method that i did but so but i already figured out so so that the, i can take less time so i'm just going to use the coordinates i already have so this is, these are the coordinates to click on the bottom so that it scrolls down so now with that we so first thing we want to do is we want to take screenshot first. So it depends. Like if you're going to scroll down and then take screenshot, or you're going to take screenshot and then scroll down. So taking a screenshot and then scrolling down is better because otherwise uh, you're going to miss the first um, view. So we're going to go ahead and take pyotogui dot screenshot. And in this parameter, it takes this function takes parameters. So uh, for example, it takes the parameter of the parameter as the name of the file. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a string that will create the name for each file, each picture, each screenshot that it's going to take. So let's say photo, photo plus. So we need, we want name the name of the each file to be different so that we can use it, like identify it later. So we're going to just uh, convert X, since X is going to change every time. So we're going to just convert X to string and then, um, Add it to the name so that each name is different. Uh, every time you create a name, the name is different. Um, then dot png, so the type of the picture, the type of the image that we're going to take, so, and for the parameter, we're going to use the name. So we have a name, and um, then we put the name and took a screenshot, and then um, clicked so that it goes scrolls down. Now we have to give it a time again because every time it scrolls, depending on the speed of your internet and everything, so you need to you need to give it time to load. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it um, three seconds each time to load, and then since it clicked, loaded, and it's gonna go back and it go back in the loop and create again create the name the new name for the new screenshot that's going to be taken and then it's going to just keep doing it so for this for the increment so that like the while loop stops at some point we are going to do like we're going to add one to every time it takes a screenshot we're going to take to add one to the x so that when it's five times it scrolls down or takes a screenshot five times the function automatically stops so we are ready uh, right now to check our code. So let's go ahead and run the code. Control Shift F10. Open the Google. 
selected the user um, for like open YouTube gave time to scroll took a screenshot to scroll down took a screenshot again to three seconds it's gonna scroll down give it time to load screenshot scroll down screenshot scroll down now if we go back to see whether the screenshot was taken or not so we can go back to the file uh, where our <coughs> code is saved so for me I saved the code um, here so here like the code is um, the code to wherever the code is saved so your image will be saved at the same place so for example here we can see uh, the, the name photo zero one two three four five and it took a screenshot every time it scrolled down so well thank you very much um, for watching the video and I hope it was really helpful and uh, do let me know like uh, there are like many ways you can use this um, many ways you can use this to hack your life and hack your way to different resources so uh, if there's any other question do let me know in the comment section and if there is any other topic that you want me to make a video about do let me know I'll be happy to and have a good day